Yo, yo, yo. Hey, we're back in the studio. In the... In the condo. In the condo studio. studio. Not in the new S- pal studio. Yeah, soon to be out. We're about to retire the studio. Gosh. Anyways, man. Cry every time. All Only right, last please. couple times doing this. So let's get right into it. I'm your pal, George Boutsalis. And I'm your boy, Ricky Liorti. And this episode... We had our lovely friends, the beautiful Nicole Gratani and Rowena Terra. Honestly, beautiful, stunning, super talented, driven, ambitious. These girls, they, they honestly, they're awesome. It was they a it vibe. Rowena is uh, the owner of All Things Pretty. It's a wedding planning business, but she also does makeup as well. Nicole is a uh, certified makeup artist, and they both have so many good stories to share and overall, they brought the energy, they brought the vibes, and this was one good hell of a time. Hell of a time. I want to give a shout out to our pal, Stephen Leambus. Guys, you know, we said it before, we'll say it again. If you, if you want someone to sell, buy, lease, uh, or put you on the right track to find your dream home, your dream condo, Steve is your guy. Um, he's been in this industry for a long time. He's an expert. He, he does it all. He takes care of his clients, stands by their side, and he takes them to the pros to understand understand their needs and help them meet their needs and goals you can find them at homes by steven and uh i think that's it georgie what do we say lfg let's go see me i don't think that they want to see you anyways face of yours. Yep, yep, in the hot seat. <laughs> and we're live all about oh, george yeah. hey guys i'm george this is about me today <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> We're here to interview you guys. Yes. Oh, I love it. I love it. <laughs> yeah. Well, ladies, we are rolling. So officially, welcome to the Pals Podcast. Thank, Thank you, you so much for having us. What I was well, saying before excited. we press play here was yeah. I'm actually really excited for you guys. And Thank you. yeah. I don't know if you yeah. guys know, but we're all very close friends. Yes, yeah. we are. And um, we go back a long time. So yeah. this is nice, first of all, with COVID to see you guys. It's been so long. Yeah. Yeah. It has been a long yeah. time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I agree. Yeah. It, honestly, it's true. When, I don't know Nicole, the last time I saw either of you guys, to be honest. Nicole, no, last honestly. time I saw you was when you had that little thing at your house this summer. I wasn't No, there. we did something else. Your birthday. Oh, my birthday. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. A month and a half ago? A mu- yeah. Yeah. Yeah, my birthday. Mm-hmm. Good times. That's a good time. Shout out to the Leordi residents. Shout out to the Happy birthday to me, bro. I think so. Yeah, I didn't get the invite. Though. But yeah, no, this is oh, awesome. Oh, <laughs> we were on a strict calendar. I'm just joking. I probably wouldn't have come because COVID. Actually, I think I did invite mm. you and Adol. Oh, you probably did. Then. I probably for did. sure. I would have messaged Adol maybe. <laughs> Sweet. We'll see if he <laughs> listens to the episode. Streaming well, now. it's like a, a joint. It's a joint invite. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I know. I know. I'm just. <laughs> I'm just playing with you guys. But yeah. anyways, um, welcome, ladies. I'm excited you, you guys to be here. To the I am yes. a true follower, as you guys so, know. I'm a loyal. So you've supporter. made it to the end supporter. of an episode. Yes. You know what we asked you know Oh, end. yeah, I'm ready. She asked I am ready. Me. I've seen a few episodes. The, I'm, no, I'm, no I'm not as, uh, you know, good as this one over here. But yeah. no, I've seen a few episodes, but she informed me of the two questions. So I think. Oh, wow. Wow. that's I a good know. friend. That's that a good friend. That is a good friend. Some time to think about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little bit. We, you know, it's funny. We hype people a lot. And everyone's like, some people are like, oh, yeah, I know the questions. And we asked them like, oh, that's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> like, if it's a good, is it a good question? Well, I made sure to definitely listen to the one DB was on obviously back at db yeah um a couple of the early on ones yeah, yeah. like obviously db's so funny so i know I the first time we, when we always bring that one back up like all everyone messaged us after being like db is hilarious he's so funny. i was like so How we know, know the know funny side of you DB guys should have like, meal yeah on. but he, he came on and he was like tired he's like I'm, he even said on the podcast like i'm so i think he said he's like so hungover oh, yeah. <laughs> i mean we find him funny all the time but yeah people were like there's so many messages about it. Yeah, because we, we know back on. I don't we, we know talk. that DB's funny. Yeah. Even Mila, they're both like so funny. Shout, so out yeah. Shout out to the band Shout out to the band Wait, what happened to Mila? Did they do a podcast? What happened to Mila? No, yeah, no, I love crossover. their podcast. All my friends are married or something like and that. They stopped. Yeah. They, because all my friends yeah. are married. Yeah. Because all my friends are married. Yeah. And you understand how they used to record. So now our viewers can see our setup, which is sick. We have a new studio coming. We out here. But they used to record, I think. With like on microphones their f- in their teacups or so, or in like uh-huh. cups yeah. or something. What? Yeah. And they'd be underneath a blanket for sound or something. What? It sounded great. Who's their sound though. technician? They, they told me this on. Mm-hmm. I think Courtney? Guys, you need a sound technician. Hit it. me up. I only charge uh, a couple hundred. No, episodes. don't ch- don't hire George. He <laughs> barely remembers to upload these <laughs> Honestly, episodes. <laughs> it's bad. I'm terrible at this. <laughs> like if Rick, thank God for my pal coordinating all this stuff, because like he'll message me and be like, you got to upload this episode today. And I was like, what day is it? 
I'm like, oh, it's only Wednesday. He's like, it's two, first of all, or something. I'm like, it's only Thursday or something. He's like, it's Wednesday, and the episode's got to go up tonight at eight. I was like, oh, gotta edit this quick. <laughs> up at like midnight trying to get it done. Yeah. There's oh a, basically every Sunday. I know George is gonna miss it, so I wake up in the morning. I'm like, George, huh. well, just, I was like, yeah, just yeah. a friendly yeah. reminder. You got up. Oh, we didn't edit it. I'm like, no, no, not we didn't edit it. <laughs> you didn't edit it. <laughs> Hey, so you guys like have like your delegated task. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We're, very, yeah. we're a geek squad. Yeah. Just single. Yeah. <laughs> single and yeah. I handle the yes. guests. Okay. Mm. Yeah. All right. PR. It's a good, it's a good, it's it's a good, a good team. team. Yeah. yeah. Honestly, I don't have, for me, I just don't like to be like, I mean, I'm on my phone quite a bit, but I don't like the small talk and like you got to yeah. message and chase people and all that stuff. Whereas like, yeah, it is Rick likes to chat people that. up, you know? It, it's he frustrating. Loves it. Exactly. There's, yeah. well, there's times too where we confirm a guest and I send out the email invites. I have all the information there. Everything's ready to rock and roll. And the day of, I always reconfirm with people, right? I'm like, hey, just making sure we're still on. And so we're like, oh, is it today? It's like, you accepted the email invitation. <laughs> like, right? But I guess Aww. people don't, aren't as email, like, calendar. that's what I don't get. Yeah, Focus yeah. Is, I yeah. send email invites to everybody now. Yeah. Like, if I have, true. like, people for, over for, like, a dinner or a drink or coffee, yeah. email invite. Yeah, you have to. Because it's in your yeah, calendar and you, you see it, you know yeah. what's happening, it's official. Yeah. 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 And oh, then yeah. people still ask, oh, it's on? Yeah, yeah. You got the invite. I didn't cancel. Yeah. I love when people send the cancellation <laughs> without telling me. It's like, you're just going to cancel me like that? Like, what the F? Are you kidding me? I know. Did you really just cancel me and like not follow That's up with a worst. comment? Nothing? Just cancel? All right, I guess I'm not going to lunch today. Like, <laughs> well, we had to cancel my bachelorette and taking that off the... Gmail, that was a well, let's, let's, let's oh, jump right into hey. that. Okay, but wait. You are Nicole. natural, Nicole. That First was of all, don't segue. act like you didn't have the best alternative good. COVID bachelorette party because we threw you no. one hell of a party. <laughs> that party, right, let's that, get was, into that, it, was, that was the best let's, that was What do they say? Time. Let's have the tea. Yeah, the tea. <laughs> what's, what's, what's the tea? tea? What's the tea? Let's know, have yeah. a kiki. I don't know. Let's do it again, no? So let's hear about Nicole. Tell us. Well, if the listeners don't know, you were getting married. Well, R is getting married. I R, am getting married. I was supposed to get married this November. Saturday. No, date, date. This past Saturday. The date, date. Is um, yeah, um, date. October 17th. There we go. And instead, because of COVID and the capacity and everything, this past June, so June 2020, we made the call. We said, we got to move it. And uh, it wasn't really a tough decision it was just more like we were sitting we're watching the news every day at home in lockdown like what are we gonna do what are we gonna do and rob was the one who was like shout out to rob Shout out to and he was he was the one who was like i think we need to move the wedding mm-hmm. so we moved it all the way out to september 2021 which we're happy about now because we might be able to have like a bigger capacity mm-hmm. than you know what is it, 10 people yeah. now yeah, yeah. Um, might be closer to your original plan yeah and like all of the events leading up to the wedding we canceled as well mm-hmm. so we'll see we'll see what happens we're pretty relaxed about it we're not going to move that date even if it's a smaller group of people we're just going to go have the wedding your life. Yeah. we can't like yeah, yeah it's uh it's tough but Do- we're okay. Do you think working in the in the bridal was it bridal wedding industry? industry. Wedding yeah. Industry? Bridal, yeah. Do you think it was easier or harder for you to make the call because of your profession? Wow, that's a good that that, that is, is a good, good question. question. No, that's all I got. Good question. <laughs> I want to say that. I think it's today, easier folks. because okay. you kind of just right. understand how it goes. Yeah. So it was it was easier, but because I was getting so many cancellations on my end, I'm sure you too. Like, it, even in as soon as it happened, I had a wedding booked. So in March, I had a wedding booked that Saturday. So when did we go locked down? March 16. March. 18? 16. No, 16. it was before St. Patrick's Day. St. Patrick's Day so that Tuesday, next weekend I had a wedding Friday. booked and the, and the bride's like, okay, we got to cancel. And then all the wedding, one by one, they were Just contacting not, me. Yeah. So yeah. I was kind of like, yeah, you know what? It did make things a little bit easier. Um, in the back of my minds, we didn't think it was like real. We're kind of like, but oh, also, maybe it'll, October will be better. I think everyone thought that. But also I know the vendors you have on your side and I know that they were probably really great with the making new plans. Oh, yeah. Moving. Every single vendor I booked yeah. moved with me to yeah, my new date. That's amazing. Every single one. Vendors being, so yeah, for like, well, so we don't Florist, like, uh, d- decor, photographer, videographer. Venue. Uh, so venue. Like everything you're saying, like vendors. When you say vendors in general, it's like the whole, yeah, the whole yeah, production, sure. everything. Yeah. Makeup, okay. hair, like everyone was able to just shift. I don't know how many times I said shift or pivot within the last six months. Oh my Shouldn't God. be in the hot seat. Sorry, go ahead. I'm just fix yeah, I don't know. How about you? How many times have you heard that word pivot or shift in the last six months? I mean, it's been pretty heavy in my vocabulary. Um, I know. 
it's hard to believe that we've been in this whole situation. Hello. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Keep good it like right Okay. Go. It's hard to believe we've been in this whole situation for what eight months now, really. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, still, uh, still gotta continue and still gotta make plans for 2021. And I don't know. It's well, just so it's just yeah, so wild well, still to me. Yeah. I, I wanted to ask you because you're that's your 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 business, right? Yeah. Do you find that a lot of uh, the, of your colleagues or your competitors that people are pivoting, doing other things, or is it kind of just, Oh, you're absolutely you know, let's, forced I'm to. I'm stopped in the wedding and game. I'm going to go do something. I else. mean, it's dependent. It's dependent on timing. It's dependent on the couple and their wants as a couple. Like some couples are like, you know what? We've already been engaged for two years. We really don't want to wait. And I find that we have now, you know, we're adjusting to how things are going in life now. And, um, especially with COVID and, you know, some of my couples are, they're like, okay, we'll just have our ceremony ASAP and then we'll keep the reception to a later date when we can have it. God willing, 2021, we can have it as close to our original plans as we, as possible. So, I mean, yeah, like, like, like I said, every couple's different. So every plan has been different, but yeah, you definitely need backups and definitely pivoting is a big part of this whole thing and adjusting as well as you can. Yeah. For, for both of you guys, um, uh, I, this is assumption correct if I'm wrong like wedding season is kind of like spring through summer and obviously every business in the world has been affected by this for the most part but like mm -hmm. the wedding industry is like this kind of rolled right through like the peak, peak of all season. of it right so yeah so it, it was really devastating because it was when we were gearing up for our season yeah and it just kind of like crashed and it's you know I feel so deeply for the couples and the businesses in the, even in the hospitality industry in general. So it's just been, yeah, it's been completely devastating. Yeah, you, we're noticing like a lot of closures of businesses, yeah. ven uh, venues especially. Yeah, a lot of banquet halls. Banquet halls, like it's, it's well, hard to say. You can't open... Think about it. You can't open a banquet hall that hosts like thousands, mm -hmm. the capacity mm -hmm. of like a thousand, two thousand people for a party of 50 people when you have to staff it and get all the food prepared and that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. well, you think so it's so, tough. Sorry. A lot of these banquet halls are located near highways. Locations near highways are prime real estate for condos, which the condo market in Toronto is still booming. So you got to think about it. You were, let's say a lot of these venue owners were making good money, but then COVID happens. You have no expectation as to when this is going to end why wouldn't you just sell to a developer you know what let me cash out i work in, you a lot or of somebody work comes in with a good offer yeah, someone on comes the up land with a good offer because condos land is land you know land it's tough still times working. yeah yeah it's tough why would you risk the the unknown when you have this good offer you could take it fuck if i was a venue owner i'd sell too why not and that's what you're finding a lot of them are shutting down and they're getting you ready know, is that like there's a couple happening? in woodbridge i, I think I there's know. two in woodbridge yeah definitely i was talking some, about this literally today some venues are deciding to call yeah. it quits it's really sad actually. it's sad because a lot of them are family for 40, 50 yeah years. i got news on a venue a really beautiful and amazing venue that shut down today Oh, R.I.P. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. R.I.P. It, no, it takes a piece laughing, of me. Yeah. It yeah, takes yeah. a piece of me. It's very sad because so many amazing memories are made there. And I'm sure so many brides had deposits there and, you know, well, yeah, yeah. banked funny. on having their dream wedding at some of these locations. So it's just, yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, you really have to make the best out of any situation you're given as, you know, crappy as it is. Mm -hmm. um, so. Yeah, I, I do want to pivot off this conversation a little bit to... Well, happier thoughts yeah for yeah sure. but yeah no but it's interesting because I, I like finding out how people adapt to the times right yeah. in this industry 100%. Like it's very relevant we yeah. right now anybody, we haven't talked to anybody in like no. makeup, we had john we had john and talked about and the weddings, weddings. Yeah, yeah but yeah, that was also April? that was early covid yeah, yeah. I love well, yeah. you could tell the, what time of the year it is yeah, based yeah, yeah. on early changed. mid late COVID it's things have changed yeah. and I so, feel like and they'll yeah. keep changing every day until you know a vaccine yeah. is out or whatever it yeah. is so I guess we'll ask I guess not wedding specific to you because I can get into that with what how it's changing plans and all that for your wedding but like the industry in general now like what are you noticing trends wise like you made a, you made mention that some people are continuing on some people are so yeah. I have to say I've noticed that everyone a, a lot of my brides have pulled away from the whole like beautiful immaculate over the top kind of design aspect it still looks beautiful mm -hmm. but i find that they're coming 
back to the reason why they're there and that's yeah, because they're yeah, they love absolutely. each other and they want to get married yeah. absolutely that's what i'm noticing and and nice. i feel i do <laughs> this is, this is no, the pivot because, i was talking about i want to get on these because Aww. when you actually because when you actually think about it like I, I even me i'm guilty of it as soon as i got engaged i was like call the hall call this person call that person <laughs> i gotta have the dream one hey, hey it's me call me hey it's me book the hall yeah like a thousand people <laughs> <laughs> yeah like i don't know i just i obviously didn't book anything i had before i got engaged because like you don't want to jinx that shit but like <laughs> you know yeah, like no, i was like um, as soon as i got engaged i was like you know i gotta i gotta book i gotta call my aunt i gotta do this i gotta do that like it Kay. was like in the books that week not to digress because i don't want to hear about the rest of the topic what was the first call you made when 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 rob proposed? like was it Call the family was it was the first time you had like what they would pick in like what was the do you remember what the first thought you oh had was? wow yeah it was pretty uh like almost like euphoric when it happened I was like holy cow I was like sweating and we went on a bike ride it was really like I don't know but first I thing guess she sweating. was first thing no when I she think about it, it I was like shaking so I couldn't like get back on the bike I was like we gotta walk a bit but um <laughs> I ended up calling uh who did I call I call my parents right away. Yeah. Um, and then my mom's like, okay, we got to pick a date. My mother was Come the one. On. So we got to pick a date. Okay. And then Rob and I were discussing like, we love fall. We're going to do fall. Like it was just like right in that moment. So nice. yeah. Yeah. So do I do, hold on. Go ahead. Oh, bro. I want to hear yours. What? The original question. What was the question? I forget what now. I forgot. The, the, client, the client perspective oh, on like how changes. Yes. No, how the industry has mentality. changed. Yeah. I because mean, I'm, I'm Nicole's totally. speaking more from a, a personal and the, uh, the oh, makeup side. Yeah, but, but it, it also you, is very relevant to my clients. Yeah, like I, I mean. it's it's amazing because, yeah, going back on, you know, the, the whole COVID being sad, you know, it's, it's nice. It's refreshing to see that people are actually, they're doing it for the right reasons and it, not just in weddings, but this whole situation has made everybody kind of stop in their tracks and realize like what's important in life. Mm. And ultimately, love is super important, you know? It's a great, that's, yeah, that's and, and, it's true. And um, <laughs> not forgetting, you know, you can very easily get caught up in the planning process and, you know, the abundance of floral and decor and this and that and the floof when, you know, this, this made couples really stop in their tracks and say, you know what? That, that's amazing and that's great addition to our love but like what really matters is this marriage and the longevity of it and the quality of it so mm-hmm. and that's I'm, I'm, I'm they're really really yeah that was really nice I'm oh, gonna make yeah, my nice. episode mention of The Office right here the episode <laughs> oh, when God. Pam and Jim get married and they <laughs> have this big thing <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> she's all mad and she her dress is ripped and blah blah mm-hmm. and then he cuts his tie off because he doesn't care he thinks she's beautiful and then they run off to get married at Niagara Falls like on the actual falls and it's yeah, true, right? it's you like so simple. Yeah. Everyone gets so caught up in the you idea of what? the wedding, the big yeah. wedding, and yeah, you know, like there's, a lot of people do it. For and, that and there's reason. so much yes. money that gets spent reason. at yes. a wedding. There's so much money that can get made at weddings, and I hate to say that sometimes money's a wedding, but there's there's couples that go into debt for weddings, which is insane yeah. when you think about yep. it. Yeah, yeah, weddings day, are expensive. They are at the end of the day. It's a it's big deposits. And it's a massive big business money. as well, yeah. a massive yeah. industry. So it's it, I'm glad you guys both mentioned it because at the end of the day, the point of a wedding is. The, the two people the two partners that are getting married their love for one another the longevity of the the marriage the the idea of maybe starting a family and, and that's why i'm and in that this next industry. chapter love, in your love. life yeah, yeah. exactly but it's true at the end of the day it's the um what's the word is it something of marriage of day. i know there's a thing it's called like the the something up. the union the union of marriage is that what it is like that yeah i was but expecting it, a bigger word. Sacrament? The sacrament. <laughs> like, word it, it won't, it'll come to me but yeah at the end of the day like it's don't get me wrong. I'm not. I'm not in the position where I think about my dream wedding. All that. So I'm sure for women, it's very different. Like you dream of them, you're a girl. All that stuff. Those kind of cliches you hear. So yeah. obviously, having like everything perfect the way you want, it's like what you dream about. But at the end of the day, too, it matters to the person you're gonna be with the rest of your life, your immediate family who are there from the beginning and, mm-hmm. and like some close friends. Yeah, for Ooh. sure. I, I got exactly. a question. But also, yeah, go I was gonna say a little segue. I mean, if anybody's looking to have a simple wedding out there, fun fact: I am an ordained minister. What? You are. We didn't, didn't know that. Know that. Yeah. You yeah, you for like three it? years, what? I'm in an ordained <laughs> Hold minister. on. Yeah. Oh my God. I don't have to segue into that because I, I, I always forget and somebody reminded me recently. I don't even remember. And somebody, a friend reminded, who reminded me? Was it, it you? was me because I said it for at, my birthday. Lake, we get yeah. Like, were you drunk you when you No, no, I was, like, I was sober. How? I was sober. When I was traveling that year when I was abroad, yeah. I don't know where I was. I was like near the end of it and I was like, 
we knew some cool shit. I'm like, what else can I do that's cool? That's easy. I'm, I'm an I, I don't know minister. how I thought of it. I went online. I Googled how to become an ordained minister. <laughs> One day I was like, I think I was watching like Friends or something when Joey marries him. I don't know. Something like that's that. You know what? Thing. I went to a wedding in uh, Napa. And nice the the couple that got married their best friend married them because he's a lawyer and he got he same thing he was ordained so Georgie, it was kind of nice I would, you, my, I would kill it i think you would we're I gathered here nice. to, I, I mean i can do it right. i mean he's a talker <laughs> yeah it would be nice i did i actually yeah. forgot i didn't remember this i got it like 2018 and i at the beginning i did it as a joke you know, we paid like i don't know 50 bucks or something and i got it and i was like sick i'm gonna marry somebody one day like i know i'll come so you haven't handy. married anybody yet not yet i okay. offered my brother he said no i was gonna say fair. Yanni. <laughs> fair yanni i don't and hannah don't hold it against you guys i mean i don't know if i can do it like they got married in greece i probably couldn't speak that much greek but um i one day it'll come in handy yeah and uh that's actually, funny. I have another marriage. No, I'm not going to tell. You. Hold on, but before you, I want oh. to get into no, this. I'll, actually, maybe I'll tell it at the end. Yeah, I'll we'll save it at the, the end. end. You know what? Do you know what? What? No, I don't know. What you guys can't about. do that. I almost got married once. What? <laughs> <laughs> so okay, I'm not surprised, Wait, but what? Like, a Britney Spears. No, moment. it was random. Nobody it knows. It actually almost <laughs> happened. Not, no, I didn't actually almost. I mean, kind. Of, we'll save it for the end. Anyway, we'll save that for the end. That's not. This is the blooper episode. I want to ask all three of you. Actually, what's the one thing when you do get married? that you must have like it's a non-negotiable whether it's a 50 person wedding 100 person wedding 500 person wedding what is the one thing that has to be there? and don't give me like my i need my partner there like okay obviously what's the one thing that you would want mm. Mm. i'm not going first <laughs> say it again what's the one thing you want okay. at your wedding like no, there's a non-negotiable this has to be at your wedding like your wedding middle of covid you're having oh, your wedding COVID. you need your right. partner what's the one thing that you or can't get married without? Like, are you saying general? like a person or like a material thing anything, anything. i never like, thought about you that your, okay you, for example you your mom and dad need to be there 100 percent. yeah like there. family like, you know, like, something yeah. like that right or for me i'll tell you mine straight up mine is i need a, i need a, a band i want to there's oh that's oh I need a, I yeah need a band so one thing i want like, I a understand, fucking yeah. piano i want a violinist well, i want the whole night i can speak to that i can speak to that the only the only thing that my wife my future wife is you know listen that's the only thing that was the first thing that was the first thing we said we're like the only thing that we really really wanted our wedding was a band oh, you can't take my answer that's a little shit <laughs> no pick your own answer ask Rob oh, she, your wait, you book, she's wait, allowed you have to a band. have that yeah, answer yeah we have a 12 piece band oh I had I love yeah, my sister can't wait to say yeah. Sarah, had a band them. My yeah, <laughs> you. I told you. Sick. My sister had one at her wedding here, not the one in okay. like the reception here. She had a band. I wasn't invited to that one. Well, you came to the one in Greece. Oh, can we go back to Monavasia? That, that, that band quick, was guys. sick, though. That's, we were all there. Can we there, just go eh? back to Monavasia? That band was real sick. Quick. Georgia's guys. Band. One day, when, whenever the time comes, uh, Monavasia. Best time. Yeah. Yeah. Best later, buddy. That was fun. We're all there together. <laughs> Um, no, Monavasia, that was the best. That was the um, best. Okay, so okay, back to your question. You got, yes. So is the band, is that yours? Well, your that was like the thing that we thought about the most, but... <laughs> um, Like a midnight McDonald's bar. Like my dad's would probably be like, there has to be a Porchetta like, station or something. No, ours, honestly, Rick, mine, ours was, we need band? sick music. Yeah. So that's, Absolutely. you know what, I okay. have to agree with you. Okay, Ro, what about you? Okay. There oh, are, right. well, you're, 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 this you're, is this the is wedding planner talking yeah, now right? that's what I mean I want to hear what um, yours is okay well obviously there are multiple things that I would like for sure for sure but number one to me though obviously ex my guest experience like I want them to have the best time but for me honestly I find any excuse to try to celebrate like any excuse a friend can get you know, a promotion at a job. I'm like, I'm booking a 15 person dinner. Let's go. Let's celebrate. Ro, Rose calling out. After. So, okay. I was just on the podcast. We got to go to dinner. Celebrate. Yeah. <laughs> Where are you taking me? He's so annoyed by me doing this, he's, but he's coming on too though. So we're all good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, for me, honestly, it's so important to have the people I love the most together. Like that is the whole point about celebrating, whether it's wedding, whether it's a birthday, whatever it is, it's having the people you love most together in one room celebrating. So for me, sorry, COVID doesn't cut it because I really want everybody there to, because this is a one in a lifetime, once in a lifetime experience. And that's really what I'm trying to go for. That's yeah. Nice. I like yeah, it. I'm with you. So for me, I just thought I just got my, sorry, go ahead. I'd wait. I'd wait only wait well one like I mean it's not like I've, I'm engaged but or I, I've you know but when that time comes like I, I don't want you know yeah. if I was engaged for two years I, I wouldn't want to push it anymore or anything like that but I definitely having everybody there is so important so I, I would you bring I everyone would. together like yeah that's yeah. 
that's yeah that's what it's about it's great mm-hmm. that's what it's about God. i thought of mine as you're talking mine if i i, I don't I never like it's not non-negotiable good food no 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 because i just never <laughs> thought of this but honestly a destination okay oh, I really uh, it has, where it i think wedding. so because wow so i've gone that? to a lot of weddings in my life like a lot. Like I used to go to like six a year for a span of like high school, university. Like, I was like, "That's cute." I did that in a month. Okay, <laughs> for oh, someone. <laughs> you got anyways, I have a big family, right? Yeah. Like Greek weddings, whatever. Yeah. yeah. And I've been to some really good ones, but like, and maybe it's because I'm closer with my sister and my brother. But even um, was it Chrysoula's? Anyways, I've been a few in Greece now, and specifically there. But would the you one want thing, Greece? I don't know. I'm like, I haven't thought that far. I haven't really thought about it. I don't really care. Greece is sick. I'm biased. Greece is the best. <laughs> like, <laughs> Actually, but, it was the best. But, yeah. But, I'm not even going to One thing I noticed with my sister, so shout out to Georgia, honestly. Shout yeah, out to Georgia. Georgia. Um, shout out. The, uh, her, my brother's wedding too. They're both very sick, very different, like similar but Yo, different. Yeah, we should say congratulations and, to Georgia right now. And congratulations. Well, we don't Georgia. know. No, we, well, not, not yet. Nah, don't say that yet. Don't say that. Not yet. No, no, why? Well, I know she's pregnant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Then that's why. But anyway, why is she know. like due soon? Soon. Yeah. Okay. Soon. Yeah. Like, well, maybe, early yeah. congrats. It doesn't matter. You can't yeah. preemptively. It's not. We're not oh. fortune tellers. Okay. So. Um. Anyways, <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, I showed up to Yanni and Hannah, but the weddings were different. But they're both incredible. But my sister, I think, was different because being a destination, number one, like when you have a wedding here, it's like one day. Kind of, it's a long day, but it's a day and it's kind of like, that's it, right? Whereas my, I'll, I'll use Georgia specifically as the example. In, when she got married in 2016 in Monavasia, which is a small town, you guys were all there, but for those listening, it's a small town in the south of Greece near where we're from. But there's, it's a, it's beautiful, but there's not like a big city. So it's, everybody is really like, all the hotels are five minute proximity walk. And everyone at least arrives a couple days before. Like we were there a week before, but most show up two, three days before. So you know for two or three days, you're, the whole wedding is together. And my sister was the first one that we did like that. Like I hadn't, I think I'd maybe been one a destination before. But Georgia's for three days, it was a, like, not even like it was a party. Your just everyone friends is together. together for yeah. multiple days. Everyone I had all you guys, hours. like all my, I had like 50. The beach yeah. party yeah. when we arrived. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, it's just a whole experience. Yeah, and I think that it makes, it just stretches it longer. So it's almost like, and everyone comes in a good mood. Everyone's like on vacation. So it's not everyone's like, oh, vibing. I gotta, you know, yeah. no one's leaving. Like I gotta leave at midnight to get to the kids. Like, my parents were on the dance floor with the course ladies till like 5 a.m. I woke up. I, I remember. I woke up the, in the morning. They were going yeah. to bed. The sun was coming. Guys, anyways, it was so the best. I just I know. think that that's like. Destinations are it's worth a vibe. that. If I could describe yeah. it in a word, it's a vibe. Yeah. yeah I would agree. That's, that's what one. I think. If I, I think, pick one, I'll I pick think that. that's been like one of the most devastating things for me are, you know, I, I'm used to doing on average about three destination weddings a year. Yeah. And this has too. been like really devastating in that regard because I love traveling yeah. and I love traveling for work. Like it yeah, just man. pros are segueing for us. <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> but so yeah, like that's another destination weddings are a whole nother experience on its own. Oh so, yeah. yeah. I how I've, many how many have you like done I've been doing it since like 2016 oh, so wow. average three you know yeah, yeah. So a you year a few, so yeah. yeah some i've done for planning some i've done for makeup just makeup some i've done done for both um yeah so favorite it's, locations oh oh I, I was gonna ask that favorite destination wedding you did okay um, not destinations we gotta pick one the well, one I actually, are you saying so are you saying favorite city <laughs> that you had it or favorite like favorite de- just wedding favorite or favorite location Whatever I the one, the one. My brides okay. get mad at me. <laughs> uh, oh, you were yes. No, I was no, no. Favorite, like location. We did, we did Bahamas last year for a close friend, and it was, it was incredible. Wasn't it was that Sacco's. Yeah, it was Sacco's wedding. Shout out. We, the I, King I worked King and Street. I had fun. And the Godfather of King Street. <laughs> Shout out Sacco, Clarida, and Cruzy. Um, no, that was an amazing experience because uh, a lot of our friends were there as well, and I, you know, got to uh, got to work, um, but it. We were threatened with rain, and that was really stressful, but it held off for that couple. It held off for them, and we had the best, most beautiful wedding ever, and I can't wait to share those images. Um, And then, actually, two weeks before COVID happened, I was um, set to go to Abu Dhabi for a bride. I was very scared because for the first time in my life, I was watching the news and following along with um, the growing concern of COVID. And I was even contemplating going altogether because it was supposed to be a super short trip for a very long flight, (laughs) a very long travel. But I go way above and beyond for my couples. So that's something that 
once I'm committed, I'm committed. You can't take me out. And I ended up ended up going anyways. I was um, I was very scared. But two weeks after I landed back home, COVID hit, everything shut down. So the timing was right. Mm -hmm. But, it, you know, yeah, very scary. It was, it's a good thing you went, right? I'm happy I went for sure. I loved my bride. I had a great experience. Um, yeah. <clears throat> good. That's That's good. Nicole, awesome. what about you? Hmm. Georgia's wedding ops. <laughs> that's, that's true. Because uh, yeah, I, wor I worked her wedding. Yeah, that's right. I, yeah, that's a yeah. good one. But oh, yeah. You did. Yeah, 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 yeah. I worked her wedding. She looked beautiful. Stunning. She looked amazing. Yeah. Um, you know the best? So I got to tell us. So like my sister is, again, I hype her up a lot, but she's the coolest person. She was like, that day like so calm but she's, oh, she's like so when calm. I talked to her I could tell she was not the most calm Yeah, but she just like looks stoic and yeah, we're in the church yeah. I don't remember this the church was so hot that's a good God. way to explain it, so it. Is the, I spent more time stoic. outside that of church, the church I, so, it was so hot that, I don't know how I read the front I was church. like we were panting. in the back like, yeah I was <laughs> panting and the, the craziest thing was like I'm I brought three white shirts and I went through them all that day and <laughs> night I believe it but we're in the church and I'm looking at Georgia and like I'm like I'm like, I'm soaked. I'm like, there's not a drop of sweat on this girl. We yeah. leave the church. I'm like, did you not sweat? She's They're an like, angel. It's 100 degrees. There's yeah. no AC. She's, She's an anomaly. She's like, I'm sweating. Yeah. I look at her. I'm like, I, I like rubbed her arm in the back. I'm like, there's not a drop of sweat. What are you talking about? She's an anomaly. She's, She's an like, angel. Oh, I yeah. guess I'm okay. I was like, dude, how are you so calm right now? Like, yeah. Like, and like, like, like she's wearing out. a dress with yeah. layers. Like, Man, it, Jordan, when best. we say it was hot, it was like it's forty. It was yeah. I think it was forty it was four degrees that the day. hottest I've, I've ever experienced in my <laughs> like, life. Yeah, out of a church like yeah. that. I remember yeah. it was me, Martinez, and uh, Dimitri. We just walked outside. We're yeah, like, we can't do this Dude, anymore. There's no. Most, and especially yeah. the worst part is no offense to the Greek people. It's like it's all in Greek, Greece. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It was a beautiful Greek. church though. Like yeah, it was in Greek. If it wasn't like, so hot, I, I would have stayed. A single yeah. word. I'm basically just, like, I'm just standing here I might as well just stand outside and not die yeah crew. and then who's the what dude that crew. said you throw the rice what you rip, whip Laz. the rice at him Laz. Yeah. shout out to Laz it's like yeah you don't just toss in the air you whip it at him <laughs> he's like yeah, yeah it's a tradition oh in Greece God. that's not what they did in my you big fat Greek story? wedding Wait. yeah I do because I was picking the things out of her hair in yeah. out of Georgia's hair it wasn't me it wasn't so me. the rice oh. out of her hair that wedding was crazy Man. It was awesome 2016 if I like go back to a time in my life that would be the time yeah so carefree. That now. trip was great. And then they like, went to Mykonos after. And, like, yeah. yeah. I feel like it was, yeah, it that was a good time. We, we just. That was a really good time. How fit that many people in there? I don't know. There was like 16 of us in that one house. <laughs> that house was, was gorgeous. Yeah. Like, yeah. it was sick. It was, that was a vibe. It was also early. So, like, I'm not going to be like, oh, Mykonos, like, now it's popular. But, like, 2016, like, that was just right before the, like, I've been going for a while. But that was before it was, like, the big score. Everyone on the gram was Scorpio and stuff yeah. like that. No, we, we paved the way. That's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, that was a lot of fun. That yeah, was no, it was good. I, I feel like we'll we'll just do get a re reunion yeah. one day. One day. One day. 100%. But I feel like with destinations, the thing is I've done makeup in destinations that weren't just for weddings. Mm -hmm. So like, and they've all been awesome. Um, like one time I had the opportunity to go to Rome and it was like, I just went for one client and she needed me twice a day. And the rest of the time I was like free to do whatever I wanted. So like that it's was an, sick it's, too. It's amazing. So, yeah. and then another time years ago at the beginning of my career, I went to Jamaica and stayed at like a yeah. hedonism resort yeah. and did makeup for like a playboy so thing. I want to ask. So I about was like, that, that was cool too. So I don't know. Thing. Every destination is different. I'm sure you know. Is, yeah. Is it? Because I'm going to ask you guys your favorite cities and countries after this because okay. I do want to know outside of work. But Nicole specifically, this hedonism place is it what people say it is? <laughs> I'm sorry, yes. I'm confused. It is. Well, yeah. I don't know what it is. No. So I see it's it, a swingers resort. But it's like a nudist. <laughs> Nicole it's is like, it's a swingers. It's a resort. nudist yeah. sw swingers resort. Yeah. Why were you there? Okay. So. <laughs> <laughs> Rob, is there something you need to tell us about Rob? Oh like, no, I didn't what? even know Rob. I was Robbie. young. I was like 20. Three. I don't know how old it was. But basically, I went out there because I had this opportunity with... Um, Let me guess. The Black Tape Project. Yeah. How'd you but it was... Yeah, hold on. But it wasn't <laughs> just... What is, what is all, wait, what? So No, Rick. It wasn't the just the Black Tape, tape oh. Project. It was like... Was um, it was called... Uh, <laughs> a, it was like a challenge for girls to model and become a Playboy model. So... The reason I know this is because when I did Mr. Chin and around that same time, one of the girls in the competition is one of those like playmates yeah put they're air like quotes a, because yeah. she's in like the mexico versions or the yeah like random yeah. And they're the not in yeah. like the north american playboys yeah so and she was supposed to like playmates and i'm like how like, not no disrespect yeah. to her but she's just not who i pictured being a playmate 
And then a week later, she's in hedonism with all this like tape, That's like so wild. wearing nothing but electrical tape, tape. black electrical tape. Yeah, Can I teach yeah it's and it's crazy. Don't get me wrong. Like some like the art that these people perform on these women's bodies is insane. Well, I have to like I have to say it was something very different but it's a whole industry in itself yeah like we we went out there with a team of hair and and makeup and my whole job was from the the, when the sun came up till the sun go till the sun set we were doing like marathon makeup like girl after girl after girl and just like standing there doing makeup and hair all day it was a cool experience got paid really nicely but the resort like like, as soon as you get there so first did they like say, take your top you pull off, <laughs> guys. Did so you, you pull to off. There take your top off. We had to stay there, but a different you boyfriend. stay there, but there's okay. a prude side and a nude side. So we were all on the prude side. Prude. Wait, so that's what you call me. A prude side and a nude side. Wow, that's that's clever. Yeah. Right? That's so clever. it was cool. Like it like we stayed on the prude side because we were there for work, and you know it was like a a whole thing. But there were couples there, like 65 plus, all right. who were there to swing. All right. They, uh, yeah, uh, like the it was. Of the OC. And they're naked. <laughs> swimming in the pool oh. like on that beach oh. like naked yeah. Heck yeah for those not watching the, the YouTube I suggested Nicole's motions are really I just naked. put my yeah, head behind yeah. my head and naked said nude naked on the beach but yeah they had like um, they had parties every night and go because I was working but it was like it was exactly what you imagine it to be it is but not like the the, the resort is not like good look like I don't mean so it's not no 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 it's like a it's resort not like young, it's not like young like good looking people trying there's to like there's not playboy it's all models there it's every all, day yeah it's all like yeah. old people just getting down that's what it is yeah. swinging Swing. Swing. And everything's swinging. Do you know what they have there? Do you know what they have there? They have at the beginning before you drive up to the resort I think it was like on the property across the street. There's like an area where you take photos like for your family saying we're at this resort and it's not hedonism, oh, right? Smart. To pretend that, that like, like you're somewhere it's like else. How strip clubs don't say like strip yeah. club name. They say like Ontario Inc. Whatever, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. On the, all, on the it was a cool experience. I mean, there's there's I know that. How do you know that, George? I would asked. You said receipts. Because I'm... Uh, <laughs> you played yourself. <laughs> yeah. I knew... Chess? More like see, checkers, yeah. buddy. Yeah. I knew what you were trying to say, but I was trying to get you to say it. I got uh, fucking... Sucker. I knew what you were saying. Um, I've, never been to this. I've never gone. I'm, I think we all have yeah, gone fun. actually together. To what? To a, a strip rippers? club. Uh, yeah, we Miami 11. Oh, guys, are you oh yeah. We all yeah, went to yeah, 11. Yeah, are you yeah, kidding yeah. me? That's, you know what's funny? I thought that was a club when we went. I'm like, oh, it's a sick club. And I turned around and I was like, I'm like, oh, wait. First wait. of all, well, <laughs> honestly, to me, like it was more of I a love club. That club. I honestly love it. I love it. You know what I said to Adam when we walked in? I was like, Babe, this is gonna be our venue. <laughs> no, this is gonna be our venue. No. Yeah, I was joking, obviously, but like I loved it that much. First time we went was with the Donnas. That's first time I went. I think maybe not. That year, that's New Year's year. Yeah. That was so fun. That was a good trip. We had a, like a random house we rented downtown. We got it so cheap last minute. I visited like, you guys. Miami, cheap. And it was like that a was brand like new, new house. Yeah. I visited that's you amazing. guys. Yeah, you came yes. by, yeah. Yeah. That was fun. Yeah. Oh, if only we could year. travel again. Rami was with us too. Yeah. Shout out Rami. Yeah, shout, shout out Rami. Shout out everybody. Shout out everybody. You know the everybody. Know the listening. yellow, yellow squad. Yeah, the downtown <laughs> boys. The downtown boys. Um, wow. Okay, back to the, the travel yes. before we get yeah, back to this. Yeah. Favorite, so Nicole, you said your favorite place that you did for work was Greece, Monavasia, Georgia's wedding. Now, both of you, favorite city or country you've ever traveled to, just in general? Um, Lake Como. <laughs> oh. Well, that Italy. was for work, but that was like incredible. That was incredible. What's I the vibe? Like, explain, I, I've never. Ve- oh, I- is it like how you see it? No, but is it like how you see in movies, like just very like yeah. regal like estates? Bond, like, yeah, that's, like, that's a vibe. It's very George Clooney vibe. Yeah, no, it's, I love it's George amazing. Clo- like you say George Clooney, well, I get that. Yeah, I get I mean, it. No, 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 it's, it's honestly rich. amazing. Very also, rich. The, also, like the nice den- um, linen pants yeah, with the yeah. white it's 100% shirt, that. loose shirt. Yeah. Yeah, but honestly, it. Like, it doesn't matter where you go. It's about who you're with. So like... Ah, uh, there we go. No, 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 Those no, are the vibes no, we what, needed. Well, yeah, it's like being realistic, yeah. you know? It doesn't matter. Like, yes, it's a beautiful place, but I was also there with like an amazing crew of people. Yeah, no, I um, So I had that much more of a positive experience. Um, where else? I just love Europe. I like, love I'm Jordan. I'm a Europe girl. Yeah, like, I Europe just, I love going to Europe. Yeah. So. George, isn't one of those Jordan? Yeah, top, yeah, uh, oh, probably can't top see right. Camera shot. Is it top Petra. right? Yeah, Petra. That Petra is amazing. I highly suggest going. Probably fourth picture in. 
I, I don't understand what you're doing here. Because I've seen Wait, these pictures a million that? times. Yeah. I, can, I can tell I which ones are worse. Yeah. Oh my God, that's amazing. Yeah, I took all those. If you want me to tell you the story, I You went to Petra. I did go to Petra. I'm not fair. Did you ride a camel? Uh, no, I rode a, I rode a donkey. I rode a mule. Oh, why'd you do that? Some They're camels. Too heavy. <laughs> 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 the Roasted. With the legs. Let me tell you a story. Uh. So... I will say because I'll tell the story. Note, I'll go to the bathroom because I've heard the story a hundred times. You actually, you actually have not heard the whole story, but I'm not gonna tell the whole story. I tell the close notes because I'm okay, more about you guys. And Ricky was right. I knew what he was doing there, asshole. Um, Petra is probably my favorite. Not my favorite place that I've been, but of all like, One the, of the seven top. wonders, all like pyramids of Giza, Great Wall of China, Acropolis Colosseum, all of those. Petra is the best one. Me too. I love Petra. Oh, you've been? Yeah, I went oh, to Petra. I've the, been to Jordan a few times. It's just, Oh, it's so sick. And I went to Petra the last time I was there and it was it was such an incredible experience. I can't believe they've carved out such yeah. so much, such an immaculate amount of detail. It's crazy. Back in like, what tools I don't even, did I they use? Do, I couldn't even tell you. Did you go to the end of the monastery? I did. I so did. that's how I rode the mule. I was with a friend there. So we went like... I just so, don't understand the mule thing. Like, so, get on okay, a camel. So we got there. So we got there. We went in. <laughs> so I went the night before. Mm-hmm. So we went... We were there on a Wednesday. And then on like Mondays and Wednesdays, they do Petra by night. Mm-hmm. So we got to... The, we got we left um, Amman, got to Petra like 5 p.m. They're like, you can go. So we went. And it's all lit up. And there's a Bedouin like playing like a, a, some kind of string instrument. It's really like... Ma- it's crazy. It's very yeah. like... It's got a cool feeling. So... We went that night. We left. The next morning, we're like, "Hey, we're gonna wake up early." It opens at seven. We were there in like February, so it's not like peak tourist season. So we get there to the gates at like six forty-five. One of the first ones in. That photo I took, like, there is nobody in the picture. And like an hour later, it's like a it's, it's, it's a sea full. of people. Yeah. So the donkey, the, the camels are lined up there. I took that photo, and there's the Bedouins who live in Petra. They like try to get, like, like we'll take you on a tour. We'll do this, and I was like, "Listen, like, we're and good. they're like children." Yeah, yeah, exactly. Really sad, yeah. We were like, we were supposed to be there for two hours. I like an hour in, I'm like, you know what? Cool. He's like, he's like we'll get, try, pay us five bucks. We'll take you on the top, on the high pass. You go to the top. You see all the stadiums from above, all the uh, all the it's monoliths incredible. from above. It is the coolest thing. I don't know. I guess like a monolith, like they're just one big giant structure. Yeah. They're massive. Like me standing in front of that is, it, it, it's crazy. But we went to the top. There's a lady who has a little hut up there. She made us tea. We just sat there and looked down at people. You see like this amphitheater. You see the tombs. And then it's I don't like, know about the lady that made tea. Yeah, it's the coolest thing. Sat up there for a bit, then we went down. The guys like, okay, we can take you to the, the, the monastery, but it's like it's the farthest. It's like a five kilometer walk. Mm-hmm. In hindsight, it's not that far, but it was like hot. I was in jeans. Like I thought we were gonna be for a short time, but like we'll get you mules. And I'm like, okay, cool, whatever, let's go. It's <laughs> most uncomfortable shit. Like the mules go up, like because it's a lot of steps. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, that's why I rode a mule. Went to the monastery. The mo- that picture is the treasury. That's the Indiana Jones one. The monastery is insane. It's crazy. It's it's like twice the width of that in the height. It's crazy. Wow. But anyways, if you guys have a really, chance, one yeah, of the coolest places Yeah, been definitely in my life. highly recommend going. Yeah. yeah. You're gonna just team me up for that to like because you just want, thought I wanted to brag about it or something? No, no, it's just because I know it's the fourth one in. It's not, it's the it's the fucking fourth one in. <laughs> I can tell you all of them without my eyes closed where they're all yeah. the guy I've told the story. That's a incredible, times. George. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> the best. I remember somebody asked Wait, me. Wait, sorry, you took this of the lion? That's I was just gonna say. <laughs> Some people always ask me, how did you get so close to a lion? And I'm like it's a zoom lens that I that is a real line in the wild and I was in Tanzania with my family that's from a jeep I took that shot wow. so I zoomed in on his face there's a pride of lions there beautiful yeah yeah, yeah. Ginza Tokyo Athens Greece Miyajima uh, Delhi Mumbai Namibia Great Wall of China amazing yeah it's a great wall and it's Kate Moss there I didn't take that though oh. <laughs> it's a great I didn't wall. do the, the, the ski one he didn't do and which other one? The guy's name. What do you mean? Oh, you didn't take on. that Wait, picture of Kate Moss? What's the guy's name? <laughs> James, oh, what's the guy's name that did it? James Newhouse. Yeah, that's it. What's, and which he other does one? every he does every favorite. The other one you didn't take is the um the pink car. There you go. Yeah, top oh, left. Where's that one? Where's that city? The, the, the night one? Yeah. Athens, Greece. That's on Ermu. Amazing. Or no, Siguru. That's outside of the Acropolis. Uh, Acropolis and the Temple of Hercules. Wow. Yeah. Pretty proud of them. Good proud picks. Of them. Thank you, thank you. The studio. Oh, see, those, I told you this episode's gonna be about me. This uh, the, ah, the viewers are gonna miss this backdrop left. soon. Yeah, honestly, good yeah. riddance. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Yeah, for those, I mean, we've said it a lot. We said it before, but yeah, we're moving to a studio. I was expecting to yeah. move to the studio. Yeah, Rowena's so like, I'm are we sort of, sort of, sorry, sorry, that's, that's, like, that's why you were um, late, right? Is it gonna be the same address? Bro, that's why you were late, Sorry to disappoint you guys. Yeah, totally. Sorry to disappoint you in my home. No, we'll get you guys back on. Yeah, yeah. In the new studio. Yeah, we'll do something. Hopefully. Sorry, did you answer your favorite place you've ever traveled? I just said Europe. Europe. You gotta pick one. You gotta pick one. It's hard, man. Oh, gotta pick? Pick one place. Um, (laughs) I don't know. Guys, it's tough. I 
I love Italy. Like even yeah. um, I like when Rob and I were planning our honeymoon, like I want to go back to like the south of Italy mm. where I'm from. Like I want to go somewhere. like to Bari, like where I'm from because I've been there before and it's so beautiful. It's like a beach, beachy area, lots of rocks, lots of caves, like that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I do love that. I love it. I love us. I love a good city with a beach, mm -hmm. you know, like I Rome. Love that. Have you been to even like Barcelona, even Greek, Greece, Greece, Cinque Terre, Cinque Terre. Yeah. yeah like, yeah, that's what I like. Okay. Dream honeymoon spot. I was, yeah. I thought you were going to ask that's mm. a good question. What? Do you have? Hey, what's your dream honeymoon Bali. spot? Right? Oh, yeah, Bali? yeah, I think so. I, yeah, I would probably not? say Bali. Too. Been? Just yeah. never been. I've never been. It seems no. like yeah. a Bali. See, I feel I, like it's a like a very a yeah. sick couple's villa. place. Yeah. Like, I'll yeah. tell you, Bali. I one of the huts. As someone who's been to Bali, like it, it is nice in some areas, but other ones you get like very young. So Bali, mm -hmm. I didn't know this, is like the Australian Cancun. Oh, not, really? There's a lot of yeah. very nice areas. Don't get me wrong. Like very, very, very nice so resorts. In Cancun, there's nice places. No, too, I know. Right? I'm not saying it like in a bad way. Like you go. But like, like if you're looking at if it, if you go to park, like if you want to go yeah. out, like people go. Like it's so close. You, it's like three hour flight. And it's tropical. Oh. So like if you go to Changu, one part out there, like it's just like hostels and people partying and like going. It, it's nice. Like very much nicer, I think, than Cancun. But um, that's the vibe it is. Which I, I feel know. like I always imagine Bali from gonna, like Ipe Love. Parade. Like it is. Yeah, I think that's yeah. always my view of it. I've never been. Bali I mean, has no listen. There's a bud which is very nice. It has like you know the hanging gardens that like you see that classic shot of like those pools that look at them in the oh, jungle. Yeah, yeah. That's in Ubud. Like that's really nice. If you go down to that was to, like Costa Rica. If you go to no, it's in. Uh, oh, is it? Yeah, yeah. If you go to um, at that what's it called? Uh, uh, whatever. There's like a um, near the airport. You go a little farther to the south. It's a big like cliffs area. Like there's like the Four Seasons and the Ritz. Like it's the nice area. Oh, there's so much to see. I like know. there's. Oh, I've and traveled quite a bit, yeah. but there's still so I much. I feel to like see. I haven't traveled as much as you guys, but I I know there's yeah. so much. I really yeah. the the place I want to go most honestly is Japan. I'm dying to the go best. to Japan. The best. My dying. favorite place of Greece. Yeah. My favorite place. And I've really? been, 2021. I've traveled. A, like I've been for a long time. Penny, like Penny I love you still. Honestly, Japan is for me. It's Greece. Italy and Spain are pretty close, but Japan. Let's hope, guys. Japan is a different world. Like you were there. All right. Next, it's when COVID ends, go. where's the first wait, wait, place wait. you go? Where's your dream honeymoon, Rick? Oh yeah. Bali, yeah, 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 Bali. Next, yeah, yeah. As long as, they have a, <laughs> as long as my wedding has a band, I don't care where the honeymoon is. That's like, <laughs> you take me anywhere. As as my, that's literally one of my only. That's dreams. why you. At my wedding, right? you're gonna really go up on that band. stage and sing with my band. Oh, are you kidding? Oh, not even a question. Oh, what did you say? At Savoya's wedding, me and his mom, Mary Savoya. Shout out Mary. She doesn't listen, but whatever. <laughs> she uh, <laughs> she told me she I goes, love Mary Ricky, though. Whatever. She goes, Ricky. Like I was talking on the phone a little while ago, and she goes, Ricky, I. Uh, I, I, I don't listen to your podcast, but I love what you're doing. It's so great. I want to support it. How do I do it? I'm like, just, you don't even need to listen. Just, just subscribe, subscribe. That's it. and open it, <laughs> open it every now and then. She goes, okay, I can do that. I, was like, I love okay. her. That's cute. She's like, podcasts aren't for me. I was like, that's fine. I get it. But yeah, during Savoy's wedding, Alex's, uh, her younger son, I guess her son, um, the band was playing I Will Survive or something ridiculous. Me and Mary, and I'm Going on. way too drunk to be doing this. Me and Mary get on stage and like grab the mics and they were totally cool with it. <laughs> and we just wow. start belting it out. And I'm not even like boys, move. boys that with Savoy either. such a risky move. It's not like he's like, it's the George, like, at George's wedding, I'd have no shame getting up on stage. And yeah, yeah, yeah. I, would, I would throw you off immediately. You know what I mean? Yeah, you maybe would, but like, <laughs> Chris, Chris, idiot up. Chris would probably have his moment though. Nah, Chris would be fired up. Yeah, but Savoy's I'm not like boys, boys with them, but our families are super close and I'm, I'm we're good enough friends that we we were there for his bachelor party good enough friends to get on good yeah good, kick enough, the band good off enough to and get on kick, take the, charge. kick the lead singers yeah. off and me and mary just crushed it amazing See? i love a good band yeah, i good. love a good band, I love a good band. Well, what was the net you were gonna ask where are you going next after this yeah if once covid ends where's the first place you go um i was planning uh I was portugal planning, oh. oh portugal's a good i was one. planning portugal for Thanks. september but that didn't happen COVID. <laughs> that sigh was so good. <laughs> COVID. It was like a most likely, most realistic place, Florida. Is where you're supposed to go. Um, I go every year for Christmas. Me and too. I don't think not gonna go this year. Yeah. You know what's crazy? Shout like, out Anna. Tell me what's crazy, George. My it's sister. Shout out. Shout out Anna. Shout my out. My sister. Anna. She just got Wait, engaged. You have a sister? It's a family friend. But oh, she's okay. my yeah, sister. Yeah, I got, I got. yeah. Um, it's not crazy at all. Actually, where are you kind going, of crazy. George? Huh? Where are you going? Talk I've actually been thinking about this a lot because not the sound, like I actually am not, I don't, like I miss traveling a bit, but I'm not like, you know, it is what it is. Like being home is cool. I got the experience of city and all that stuff. And I've actually been thinking a lot lately, like where's the first place I would go? I honestly don't know. 
But I feel like somewhere close enough where it's like you can go for a weekend, just like just like you're not gonna go to like just co- travel. Lifts tomorrow, COVID's gone. You're not gonna plan a whole extravagant trip for like three weeks. I feel yeah. like you just want to get a quick fix, go for like four days. Probably maybe Bahamas. But do you know what they uh, say? Bahamas is yeah. a safe. It's a I, safe. I, I have a client really going like there. The vibe Bahamas. Bahamas going there soon. It's got a bit of everything. Yeah. And I actually was there like January, February for a weekend. I I love it. I just yeah. It's, you know, it's got Bahamas a beach. Is amazing. It's got like the it's like, yeah, yeah. it's got the casino. It's got, the it's got casino. some restaurants. Oh, it's got a little nice. bit of everything. Yeah. Play yeah. some golf. Jamaica's oh, amazing too. I haven't been. In, I the, went when I was young. Listen, oh, the vibe, Jamaica. the food, the people, the music, <laughs> I the love beach. People say the word vibe. Check, 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 vibe, check. Vibe. Like that is that's a that's a spot. Okay. okay yeah. Never mind. Yeah. I feel you. We should just all go to Jamaica. <laughs> I'm done. Bye. Let's go. Honestly, screw this. Were you going to say something? We have to be responsible, guys. Uh, Yeah, true, true. No, I was going to say, do you know what? When people say traveling is like a drug, it's so true because when Mm -hmm. when March and April, COVID, you know, peak of COVID, everything's going crazy, everything's shutting down, every country is shut down. I was like, I need, I can't go away. Make too far, I wanted to go away. Canada Day, I wanted to go away. We had so many, me and Georgie even had so many plans to do like LA or Vegas. We were going to do Bali in September yeah. for your birthday this year. Yeah, so we were supposed to do Bali oh, for my birthday. Big time. Well, we do um, like birthday, it goes every year for his birthday. It's always Labor Day, right? I do so, Greece every summer. We're like, yeah. we'll, skip, we'll skip that this yeah. summer. We'll do, we were going to do Southeast Asia, but yeah. I mean, if 2021 happens, it's going to be a big one. Let's yeah. just say that. It's oh, going to yeah. be an amazing Six year. Six week vacation. Yeah, <laughs> that's bad. Yeah. No, point. but the idea is that after the third month, after probably May, June, I didn't crave to travel as much. Maybe mm-hmm. it's just because I know things aren't opened up. And even if I did travel, it wouldn't be the same. Like going to Vegas right now. Yeah, that'd be cool. It's because it's warm. But is Vegas Vegas if the bars are closed down? The restaurants aren't the same. There's half the capacity. Mm-hmm. Is going to a place like Florida the same when you're scared to get COVID when you're out there? Because they have like the highest per capita of COVID yeah. cases. It's yeah. like, is so it, at the things. end of the day, is it worth it? Is you know, it like it? it's not even about... For me, like, it's not about me. It's about everybody around me. My father's older. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. I, and I don't want to, first of all, put him at risk. And everybody's like, but you can quarantine. I'm like, I don't want to spend two weeks away from him. Yeah, like, that's, that's, that's not, yeah. if anything were to happen, God forbid, I can't be there. Yeah. yeah. Like, hell no. But that's another yeah. thing, too. And, like, again, you know, this might, not to say this, like, oh, you know, because we can't travel, like, it's tough, whatever. I've actually, you know, saving a lot of money. That's yeah. great too. There's also there's great byproducts yeah. of not being able to yeah. do it. And there's no, silver linings in this whole thing. Yeah, for and sure. I, and I think the biggest thing too, you had a point earlier. It's like it's not. It's kind of just who you get to be around and mm-hmm. being around those people. Like whether it's a wedding yeah. or whatever. And to be honest, I spend more time like with my friends, more with my family. Like my with your even, pals. Even in, yeah, with but even pals. being in the office, just like yeah. talking to people at work more. Uh, you know, I like the first couple of months I stayed with my family like up north on the weekend, so I go up to hang out with them. Just I putting think things into perspective. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I sitting just at feel home, like, like, you know, just, I don't know. It's nice to like, yeah, yeah. I said, it's great to travel. It don't kind of wrong, like but. brings you, brings you back and like brings you down, yeah, to, down earth. to earth. Like I, I felt the same way. The first time I saw my girlfriends was like at like Alessia's pool and we were all outside and I was like, Oh my God, like doing TikTok. This is so <laughs> nice. <laughs> no, but, but we were so happy to like, just, be together and spend yeah. the day together a Saturday together let alone yeah. because I'm never available yeah. in yeah. June on, on a Saturday like it's what's nice that break. like it's been a nice break it's been Fair. really nice and I've taken advantage of every single Fair. Saturday but it's but it really does like bring you back like my parents too like being at home with them and my sister yeah, like it's been really time. nice yeah this is a great question to ask people mm. you know like what's the what's your silver lining yeah of covid that's like you get question. to say both of you when are you point, ever actually, yeah. good point, free right? on a saturday mm-hmm. in the summer ever mm-hmm. never never <laughs> never that was my <laughs> yeah. honestly like you guys well you guys and that's your, to, at that point like how long you guys been, just so everyone knows too like how long you guys been doing this each of you roughly nine years i've been in the industry for about 12 years i've had my like com- been in it for six, i've had my company for about five yeah now yeah and in that time yeah like how many from the last because like you know in the last three years Very how often rarely. would you get like a saturday Very never mind how often, you get it off. How often did you have to wake up at like 4 a.m honestly i would i Rare. would sacrifice sleep to not miss things so like i would sacrifice sleep to go to that birthday yep. and still Heck yeah and, and but because like like <laughs> not I rich said, though <laughs> <laughs> not rich, <laughs> not rich. <Awkward. laughs> it's true no no because i don't lost, i don't, don't want to miss out on experiences with family with friends obviously i'd be responsible go home at a decent time but you know, I'd, I'd sacrifice an adequate amount of sleep to get up, go to work, do my job 
110% and still like make that time to it's so true I, I did try to feel make it to like the event afterwards or whatever exactly it is. that's I, if I'm not planning that's if I'm just uh contracted to do makeup or I feel like with our with our industry and we can obviously like attest to this together because we've been through it together we're mm-hmm. like you don't want to miss out on all those things. But, and then when you tell people like, I got to be up at 4 a.m. Like I can't be here Friday night. They're like, what do you mean? Like they don't understand it as yeah. much. Cause it's I've the lost weekend, some friendships right? Like that. Yeah. I've lost some friendships, but you know what? At the end but of But I the feel day, like also our health is really important too. And I've been actually taking the time now through COVID to like focus more on health because I was so unhealthy yeah like thank god yeah. for oh, vanessa well, our chiropractor health, yeah because like my hips Shut out, back, dr everything. salerno dr salerno oh, Van- vanessa Shut salerno up. yeah oh, vanessa <laughs> Cause she's so helpful with she's like amazing. I'm keeping us alive here twice I'm a week. Scared, to, to do, I can't. scared. It's the best thing line. ever. Me out. I'll never forget. Uh, when honestly, I, we can't be friends anymore. My George. neck was I'm messed scared up. To like, I'm just, <laughs> yeah, I woke up one morning oh, and my neck was messed. It's about two, three years ago, and I was like, oh my god, like this is insane. There's something seriously wrong with me. So I googled chiropractors. Turns out there was one two minutes from my parents' house in mm-hmm. Kleinberg, downtown Kleinberg. Can't remember the guy's name. And I walk in. I couldn't even drive. It was so bad because I couldn't. I couldn't oh, turn. I had to like. Worst I felt like an feeling. owl. I was turning, I'm turning telling you, you should try it. But she'll go easy. You don't have to go like. And she won't crack you. She has this gun thing. It goes. Yeah, she does it on kids. She does it on babies. Like yeah, you don't have to get cracked. I'm the baby. No, mine. She, my dude. I sat down in one of those things where you. Uh, the bed, the flat bed. Right? No, so what? <laughs> you punch yourself in the face with the mic. No, so yeah. So my face is in that thing. I'm rested, and he's like, "Okay, this might hurt a bit." I'm like, "Oh shit, that doesn't sound good." He grabs my neck and my shoulders, like twists me in this way <laughs> where it killed. I'm not kidding. Oh, I, I, then he I got it up wrong. and I walked out perfectly like nothing happened. I yeah. felt so good when oh, I heard Oh, yeah. Though. Never and, like mind. for that split second. See, that thought of that. It was like, like the, it was yeah. just that quick When I jerk, go though, when she does it for I was me, like, oh it never God. hurts. And it never hurts. I, I, hurts. Dead. When he, when I look did forward to it. I lay there. I'm like, crack me crack every inch Me too. you can. Oh, Same. Every, look, my toes. Yeah, goes like, just like, talk dirty to me. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I, uh, well, I think right. about too, like, yeah, I'm a bit of, I'm but sorry. yeah, no, health is a big, it's okay. Yeah. Sorry, back to your point, that cut you off, Nicole. Yeah. You're no, no, health. it's good. Games back I just feel like I was, it, it, in this industry, in you this borrow industry. from the bank of your health a lot. Yeah. And Ooh, that's at, a great saying. At the end of the day, it's not worth it because it catches up to you. It catches up to me. Did you pick that up? No, I, I read it somewhere. Okay. I read. Things. I was gonna say that's a great. No, that's, that's a great. <laughs> that's quote. That's great. It, we never we never you know, thought you didn't read. You know, no, no, no. no. This is very amazing. important. I'm gonna steal that. This is very important because I had Rick a big. Loves a good quote. No, I had I had a big a health times. scare you last year. You had a big year, scare last year. Huge health scare, oh. and it stopped me. Never mind COVID. This stopped me directly in my tracks, and it's so health is number one without health, number one you hear it all the time but when you go through it you're like oh yeah it's actually number one one, one yeah. of the few things you can't buy yeah, oh, yeah exactly and when you're with that client it doesn't matter it doesn't matter to them what you're feeling yeah. it doesn't matter that you've woke up on the wrong side of the bed that you've only slept for a couple hours that maybe you, you you're not feeling great you doesn't to matter to them you're the first person they see that morning so you have to be up and at it yeah. every single time yeah yeah, yeah. And it's their special day too, so it's not like it's like a random day doing makeup. No, you're doing makeup no, no, on no, someone's no. like when like you show their up to work. Day and you like, can when you, you show up to work. Yeah, most important woman, like day for a woman. It's like you like, gotta like, like as soon as you get to the door, I'm like, hi, like it's like a different person at five a.m. I feel like yeah. you're made for this, Nicole. Yeah, you're the she most really energy. Is. Like, which I don't, yeah, I can't. I, I mean, what? No, no. Think when, about when, when you wake up in the morning. Sometimes we've had you gotta really turn it around. I am miserable. Like you know what, actually. Lately, no, I wake up with a ton of energy because to that point of silver lining, like I, you know. Yeah, George, what's your silver lining? Yeah. Of COVID. Yeah, let's know with hear all it. you guys. Aww. No, but yeah, give us the real You know, like now. our work, like I would, you know, I'd be lying if I said like our main business that we do in cleaning was suffering. Everyone thinks that, you know, cleaning is cleaning, but we clean office and like no one's there. So they're like, you know, there's downtime. Hey, we got a new bit. office you can clean, buddy. Give charge, us a good charge you double. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so like uh, that's been a little bit down. Like we haven't been as busy the last few months because people working from home. Like no one's in offices, so naturally um, we have downtime. Uh, what was I going to say? I can't remember now. But silver lining. Yeah, yeah, but I was something and something about sleep. Waking up on the oh yeah up. yeah yeah okay. That, you got me. Sorry, thanks for reminding me. Um, <laughs> honestly, for me, I think this is. I said to my sister today or my, or my mom, whoever it was, I was like, this has been actually one of the best years of my life, and like I think it says a lot considering I took a year off to like travel, like. 
I got to just do things I wanted to do this year. Like, you know, I had the time to do it. Not traveling, work being a little slow. Like, it's still busy and I still got to be in every day. But, you know, we did this podcast and we got to put more, a little bit more time into it because I had a little bit more free time. Um, we started Cast. So we have our, you know, our app is launching hopefully soon when this comes out. So that got off the ground. That's been an idea three years in the making that Rick and I had while I was traveling. We kind of came up with this idea and we just never materialized. It just never happened. So that is happening. Whatever happens of yeah. it, pass or fail or whatever, who knows? I've had more time to focus on health. I also believe the same thing is that, you know, you prioritize work, 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 or your business, go your brands, do all that stuff, but you sacrifice health. And I've started to realize, you know what? I'd rather start my day a little later and maybe that's not, you know, the early bird gets the worm, but I'm going to work out every morning. Yeah. And I will say where I was going to go before you asked me that is that like, you know, waking up, being tired, all that stuff. I actually noticed today for the first time that like what the importance of health and having a good routine is because mm. I, I like to like I run a lot, but even lately I haven't as much, but I've been working out at the gym in our office almost every day. The for lab. The past, in the, the lab. lab. Shout out Mike. <laughs> in the lab. We're going soon. Um, I Today was the first day that I'm like, you know what? I have to be downtown at our other office early. I'm going to skip my workout today and just kind of look at a little case study. I don't know if that's the right word, but I woke up all day. I felt cranky. He came to see me at like four and I was still like in a bad mood. I was like, I see what you mean now because Rick, you always talk about it. You don't get a good workout in. If you don't get a good sleep, all that stuff, it affects you. I noticed today by not focusing on my health this morning, like I always do, mm -hmm. I had no energy. Mm -hmm. I was cranky. Even before you guys came, I was like, I have to, I have to like suck this up because just like you said, I got to put my A game on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I noticed the, like you notice it really, you notice the importance of health. Even just being in that routine. Changing it a little bit. It shifts your day. One day, I didn't work out. One day, one morning, I noticed that my whole day was like, was messed I, up. I've tried to tell this to people, and the way I look at it. I don't know if I answered the question there. I kind of went on no, a bunch okay. of loops. You, we but, got yeah. what you were saying. <laughs> Thanks, yeah, man. We got it. Okay. You're so, good, yeah. I've always said this too, because I'm the type that I've, I started working out maybe when I was 16, 15, 16, around that age. And I, that's when I started going, you know, five, six days a week. And I've been, for the last 15 or so years, I've been pretty consistent. Five to six days, sometimes seven days a week. Mm -hmm. And people say, it's like, well, how do you do that? I'm like, okay, well, what's your day like? What's your morning routine? You know, do you wake up, you have a, your cup of coffee, right? Most people, that's what they do. Or they read the, the newspaper. What happens if you don't do that? Your, your whole day's thrown off. You know, yeah. let's say you woke up late, you don't have time to sit down and have your morning coffee. Okay, then you put in a thermostat and you're trying to drink it on the way to work and then you, you slam on your brakes, your coffee spills, your whole day is thrown off. If you I mean, I can't relate because mm -hmm. I feel like in this industry, every day is different. Yeah. But yeah, there's, Rose, is. there's something you, like every morning you wake I, up, you put I on also, your makeup I, I, or something. I, realize, so I don't agree. I also no. don't necessarily, I know that you made the point of working out coffee. the whole day off. Yeah. I have to have my coffee. coffee. I didn't see so like- If I don't have my coffee, then my day is thrown off. Yeah. So think about it though. Think about it. To your point, like you saw me earlier today. I seem like I'm in a better mood now. Yep. So I disagree with that point about like there's a non-negotiable because working out is also not a non-negotiable for me. It's not, but the idea but is like, that it's, it's that I had, one thing in your habit. Right, I know coffee I have my, my habit. Days. I have coffee. I had three, four today. And I know I have. So my one consistent, basically five days a week is going to the gym. Mm -hmm. That's my, like my, probably the most consistent thing outside of showering and brushing my teeth that I, and eating is the most consistent thing I do in my life. The last 15 years, I've been doing this five to six days a week, every single week, unless I'm traveling. And I, there's days I don't drink coffee. There's days I brush my teeth at the office instead of at my house. There's days where, you know, I forget to brush it at night. Or, You're human, man. Yeah, right? There's, there's so yeah. many days that I forget to do. The gym is my thing. If I say I have to go today, I have to go. And if I don't find time, my day is thrown off. Mm -hmm. And it's crazy yeah. to think about that because you, you say that out loud. And okay, it sounds stupid. People are like, how is that so part of your routine? But if you make something so part of your routine to the, to the point where... It throws your. I day think off I think routine is different. I think it's identity. I think you're thinking yeah, about yeah, your you identity. identity yeah. Because okay. routine is very different Sorry, than identity. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like identity. you identify with it, so it feels yeah. like a part of you is missing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is. I'm just like. No, no, yeah. no. That was good. Good correction. Because yeah. mm -hmm. yeah. routine is like I with coffee. I get a coffee every morning. To, like I said, like my day was whack today. I felt like I was in a bad mood. Didn't work out, so I could have been that. And that's been part of my routine lately. Not 15 years, but then like coffee I have every single day. I was yeah. gonna roast you there, but I'd roast me. Nah, What's our routine? Go. Food? <laughs> food? Go. No, no. You said routine. I, I haven't been doing it for fifteen years. I can't even tell, buddy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> roast me away. Yeah, that's the first be thing. Nice, you got this whole episode without nice. roasting me. Be nice, nah, guys. Uh, sorry. Yeah. Anyways, we went anyways, a little, a little back, side. Back on no? to you guys. The back silver linings. You, Wait. What? Yeah. The silver. We talked about silver. We went through all our silver linings. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We we said. Did our silver. Yeah. What your silver lining was? Uh, honestly, just yeah, having free time for once because I'm so go 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 that this was actually a great chance for me to settle down hang out with my family i moved back home 
and I hung out with my mom and dad basically every single yeah. day for mm-hmm. three months. Mm-hmm. Me and my mom worked out every single day for three months. I was yeah. eating like healthy How's food. Elaine? Real f- Elaine's How's the our girl? best lady oh, in the shout world. Out to Elaine. Elaine. Shout, out, shout out to Elaine. I love you, Mama. Yeah, Gordon. like she had her hip you. surgery this summer too, which was she's crazy. She's like doing so well. So yeah, yeah, she is, and she's, she's killing it. Love you, trooper. That's yeah. actually been great too. Like honestly, I think I miss you. You know, fortunate. I'm like being single, getting to go same like going to my parents' place, hanging out with them, because like ah. I'm not going to go on a date. I'll go, I mean, not that I had many, but I'll go ahead. What else? Yeah, like, it's true. I'll go true. hang out my parents. It's like, yeah. what's important, shout out to, right? Shout out to Anastasia, too. Shout out to my mom. Yeah. Shout out to Tessie. Shout out to Anastasia. Shout out. Um, oh, yeah. I, I wanted to go back for a second. I didn't get to ask, what's the thing you love the most about what you do? Oh. And then get ready, because we're going to ask, what's the thing you hate? Which I'm assuming is probably the waking I up early. I love... I adore my clients. So, the connections I make with my clients, because I have the best clients in the world mm. and i hope at least some of them see this because this in my heart i truly and you want to give a shout out to them give some all of them all, all, oh, all of answer, them <laughs> shout out to all rose clients all, my planning clients especially because we spend so much time together and we just build this trust and this relationship and this this insane friendship it becomes really some of my clients that you know when I first started my career I'm still friends with you know it's yeah. just it's just an amazing it's truly an amazing experience so that's my favorite part is experiencing love because I love love that's why I'm in this industry but it has to be um, the human connection I make wow. yeah yeah that's nice. Yeah. Nicole, before you say the thing you love the most. Yeah, I was the feels today. <laughs> Ro, what's the thing you like the least or the thing uh, you hate about? The 5 a.m. Your- wake up. Oh, <laughs> it's yeah. tough, but it's, it's worth, worth it. it. Yeah, it's worth it. Nicole, what about you? Thing you love and thing you hate? The thing that I or, love sorry, the most love. about like giving makeup services is... Um, making people feel really, really good about themselves because yeah. no matter what, whether it's um, your wedding day, a special occasion, a trial, um, hanging out with my friends and doing their makeup, it's, it's for me, it's about the experience mm-hmm. and having go, going from like feeling like meh to then you, you know, see having them a full to giving the glow up transformation Guys, I'm not inside you, and out. You Honestly, see them when you're like midway from a, in a makeup application, yeah. transform their personality. You see this confidence like appear just yeah. like this. It's, and you it's know amazing. what? It's it makeup isn't just about like applying things on your face. It for a woman, it really is an experience mm-hmm. altogether. Absolutely. And it just builds so much on self confidence. Also, and it gives us an opportunity yeah. to play on our craft, so to be creative. Yeah. It's like our canvas. Sometimes. Yeah. I find that like a lot of women request the same things like, <laughs> oh, I'm, no makeup, makeup. Mm, just make me look yeah. natural. No and makeup, makeup. You gotta, you gotta, no yeah. Makeup, so makeup makes, mean? no makeup, that, makeup like, means like, look. it's, you have makeup on, but you, you want to know. smoke your yeah. eyes. Make me look None like I just woke stuff. up. <laughs> but I'm in a movie. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. What are those so, things? and then the thing that I don't like is, yeah, like the 5 a.m.s. <sighs> The, the 4 a.m., 5 a.m., <laughs> even on Sundays. I've done so- 3.30. It's tough, but sometimes. Yeah. But time out, time you know. out. So wh- wh- who asked for makeup at No, no, no. Like they don't a. ask for you it. You got to get there you so you can get your job It done. works it backwards. So yeah. like I go, what's your ceremony time? Okay, just so I have it, you know, on record. Okay, what's the latest time you want to be ready by? And then you work backwards for the amount of people you have. Right. Oh yeah, because I guess it's not just bridal so, parties. Wait, so yeah. sorry, who gets like who's the first person to get done? Is that the bride or is that like no, the mom? The, the, yeah, <laughs> most of the time, like Depending. sit down and go go. It do doesn't what matter do. to us who, who goes first, as long as the bride go, is go. going yeah. last to second last, so she's the freshest. Obviously, the first one our makeup so good that the first one won't have an issue. Yeah, never. But um, is it like we're there for the last bridesmaid, yeah. the shittiest bridesmaid. Is no, the one that goes no, first. it doesn't. Nice. No, there's no. There's no reason or rhyme to like Bride orders. Zilla. You know what I mean? But it's like the bride's never go first. Sister, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That the bride doesn't even like goes first or something. No. Mm. Sometimes, so like sometimes the groom side, like for example, like if a uh, if um, I'm the type of person, the that's groom's like, sister comes to get her makeup done at mm. the bride's house. She's like, I gotta go back home yeah, to see my my brother. On the so it's there first. But yeah, other than that, I'm the type of person to take the bullet. Like if I'm a bridesmaid, I'm like, fine. I, to make it easy for everybody, I'll just go first. Like, I want to go first so I can go touch up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go fix okay, myself. True, true. Yeah. I, guess I, I don't know. What I, I don't even relate to any of this stuff. But now you know what I'm anyway, thinking. I really miss like weddings right now. I know. I know. Uh, I know. Like tearing up a dance floor to a live band, 
<laughs> having a vodka soda in my hand. Do you know? Spilling hey, it everywhere. Hey, <laughs> but hey, the silver lining. Next year, we've got Nicole Robb. Do you know how many? John Virgie, Perello Cinnamon. I don't know if it's silver lining There's because going, going I was going to gonna go lot. broke this year from weddings. Now I'm just going to go broke next year from weddings. Yeah. Yeah. I had yeah, seven. Yeah, 2022, we're going to have Ready Rachel. I had seven. Yeah. 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 Shout out to Shout the, out to the Ready Rachel. Engaged. Um, I had seven weddings or eight weddings this year, and they all just got, I had, think I had two. And they got pushed the rest. Next of year will be wild. Hopefully, uh, y'all Hopefully. y'all gonna be getting cleaning products for your for your uh, kid cast. You're sweaters. getting IOUs. IOUs. That's what George gets me yeah, for my I'm birthday every year. Hey, IOUs. You gotta cash them in. I'm <laughs> here. <laughs> I'm ready. I hey, told George, you. What okay, do we dumb and dumber oh, over here. Uh, yeah, yeah. We'll go for, we'll go. <laughs> you know that value. So I gave <laughs> Ricky. Is it I, I gave Ricky that uh, uh, IOUs for cleaning. Naturally, I clean. Give him what, you, what I'm good at. Those are a couple hundred dollars each, pal. Is it like pay for yourself? No, I'm waiting for myself to move into a sick mass. Wait, wait, wait. You. Expire. You clean. Nah, there's no expiry date on my place. Actually, yo. No, no, no. I honestly like, think you guys should just get married. IOU is for you to clean no, no, his no, no, place. No, no, no. I'll send it's someone. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to clean. best part is, so, disgusting. George, we found, when we moved into our new studio, uh, I found this filing cabinet upstairs in my parents' attic. And inside, there was beer store coupons. So these are probably from Western. So you got to think like 2010. Mm-hmm. So I was like, mom, they probably don't work. But here, take, there's no expiry date on them. Take them to the local store. Did it work? Shout out to Western. 80 bucks. What? It worked. Yeah, she bought a whole bunch of like like That's neutral hilarious. vodkas or like those socialites and shit. bring them yeah. to the off bro yeah. did you ever come up to western uh-huh oh. did you visit oh. me and mia almost okay oh yes you you did wait because there was uh laura parise you guys were close yes. to laura yeah no yeah, lauren my best friend lauren was at western hello a lot of people yeah. Went to western yeah, yeah. so yeah. actually just, funny story of, about one we of the times close then yeah but we knew each other yeah yeah, yeah no, i guess we got closer we got closer like way closer what's that um, me and Laura, me and Mia and I almost hit a couch on the highway on the way to Western what? one year. Did you guys remember this? Because a few like people knew about this story. A few people hit it. That's why Michael Pace hit it. <gasps> Tell us the story. Me and Mia and I were driving and like we're talking and singing and listening to music, being silly. And all of a sudden, I look up and there's a couch. There's a sofa in the middle of the highway, and she just I don't know how. We, there was, thank God there was no car to the right of us. We just veered and just like avoided it entirely. But people hit day, it like. during wow. the day. Thing. Like, that's that dangerous, night, that's dangerous. There was a sofa in the middle of the highway. It was, it, oh my God. What a story. I miss Western. I miss it every day. I did not miss it for a long time until we went down for Jared's wedding. Good time. And after that night, I was like, man, I felt old, but I was like, I really that's the first time ever not I, not I went back a couple times after I graduated I'm like I didn't miss it I didn't know now, when I went back I, I if honestly if Frost Week or something was happening I'd be like I go to the frat guys hit the bar oh, like I, for uh, sure. I just I miss like be on Richmond Row, sitting out there. We went like it was in the fall, it's September or something, like late yeah, September. Yeah. It was oh, just coming. on Barney's you know patio. What? No, it was mid September. Mid September. We went to Queens yeah. a lot. Yeah, we're on Barney's That's patio. Why we don't have a lot of memories. I didn't go to Queens. I know because we, the girls and I, we ended up visiting Queens more than Western. Mm-hmm. That's why. Sorry, mm-hmm. that I didn't no. mean to cut you off. Um, that to my mind. I miss it, guys. I miss it. Like the, but it's funny because like I miss that time it's not like you can go back and experience the same things we did, you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And honestly, and I the same changed, friends I and the same parties and the same. Actually, there's one thing I would have changed about my university oh. life and career. And I'm, I might've told you this, Georgie, but back at Western in the summertime, I was so focused on, you know, nightclubs and promoting and crowned entertainment and this and that, <laughs> that I never studied abroad. And looking oh, back, there's very you? few things I, I regret not doing and studying abroad was on them. I didn't love traveling back then. Mm-hmm. You didn't it think it until, wasn't something you yeah, thought about? Yeah, it was about. not until I did my first like real Euro trip. With, me and John did it in 2013 You can still do it. Well, it's a little tough to study abroad now <laughs> for me personally. But uh, yeah, that's one thing I really regret. My mom always like, go study in Italy. Like You'll come back bi- bilingual. And I, mm-hmm. I would have because I almost spoke Italian during university. And uh, I never went. She's like, just go to go to Barcelona I'm like I can't crown entertainment two nights a week I'm making a thousand dollars you were so yeah. invested in your uh, 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 friendships like, no, and your you're not, I don't know if lose not the right loser, word but you know but it's oh, I don't yeah. know if loser is the right I, word I mean, if I could go back in time made money that yeah. led you to here I don't think you're a loser but, uh, you're on yeah, your grind man don't worry about it I'm, I'm not because I ended up going to all the places yeah. I went when anyways and I probably had a better time with my boys and everything stuff. Everything happens like, the right time. Like exactly. I, I, I could say that I regret not going abroad or doing my backpacking trip right after university like most people do but like, I don't think personally I was ready to do it. I think I was like I was too like shy, timid back then. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't have enjoyed it as much. 
Like when I went, I was 27 when I went and did like a thing abroad, and like it did. Yeah, everyone joked, and I, like that everyone who's like, "Oh, you're gonna go find yourself." I'm like, "That's buddies." Like, "Yeah, you're gonna go and like get spiritual," and I was like, "Yeah, okay, I know who I am. I'm George." <laughs> Let me tell I'm you. George. <laughs> Let me tell you. When, I know you, I am. when you're by yourself in foreign countries for like six months, you realize a lot about yourself, and and like you have time to self reflect a lot, but. I would, like I, if I did a university, it wouldn't have the same effect. I don't think. Mm. So I do regret. Yeah. I don't think regrets are what I wish I did abroad. Yeah. Like I wish I, I studied like that last semester. Went to like I don't know if I went to Singapore or like, like Hong even Kong in the summertime or, or something. Yeah, yeah. Like, but in the summertime, I felt so like all like, I wanted to do was hang out with you guys. Yeah. Like it was like I didn't want to go anywhere because the I was scared of missing. Sorlin Sorlin Avenue, Avenue, yeah. Nicole, FOMO. Nicole, we hung out a lot one summer. Eighty nine where? Because you my lived like house. five minutes from me. My old house, eighty nine Sorlin Avenue. Yeah. At Black Creek. Oh, Black Creek. Black yeah, Creek. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah so any house. young listeners, if you're listening and you're still in school, <laughs> go study abroad, please. For sure. Yeah, that's a good sure. one. That's a good if, one. If you can, definitely a good one. If you can, actually, you know what? What's one thing I would tell my younger self? Which the question you guys are going to get asked shortly. Uh-huh. Is I would study abroad, Jeez. but that is good. A- anyways, I did want to give a couple minutes for you guys to do your some plugs here because uh, it, we've talked about your careers, and this is the point where we start to wrap it up. But what's next for you individually, and what would you want our listeners to know? This is your like. <laughs> this is what I'm doing. Here's my plug. I'll uh, I'll fill some time while you guys are thinking. <laughs> so guys let me tell you a story. A <laughs> oh my Y'all god! Y'all need a brief us, man. So like this is the point. It's supposed to be. We're on the spot. Well, we don't plan anything. I'm a planner. I feel like, uh, honestly, ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, I feel oh like God. with like career wise, I've tried to keep like in the past my career open to every type of opportunity possible in makeup. Mm-hmm. So that being said, um, where I am right now, I don't. I I want to go further. Um, I work for a brand. I have a lot of clients, like private clients and that sort of thing. But I want to like push it, push it more sure, and well. get to a place where I'm very, very, very fulfilled because mm-hmm. I'm fulfilled now, but I think like I can still fill my cup. So for me, um, I just want to keep, keep going with makeup and then um, find some more really awesome clients and just have yeah. fun while I'm doing it. Yeah. Well Good said. answer. Well well said. Yeah. Growing the business, baby. That's it. <laughs> simple just focusing on growing the business i have the beauty side i have the planning side i guess what side do you like more how and is what's what? and what side do you want to do you plan on growing more both okay i like it so so is that a i 50/50? love well the reason why i do both is because i offer the makeup and also the planning complete package yes so we're multifaceted it's basically like an umbrella um I have a team, a beauty team. So I want to grow that. I want to grow a confident, a larger and confident team. Um, so grow that. And also on the design aspect, you know, um, I just want to keep going. I want to do bigger. I want to do bigger budgets. I want to do bigger weddings, but I just need COVID to mm, I know. Yeah. For, in order for know. this to happen. Yeah, but it gives... Again, but yes, these are, these are the plans. Yeah. And if you like to know yeah. what I want to do is grow my ordained minister business. Yeah, we can help. <laughs> if anybody needs to get it, so you I'm ordained minister. Guys, hey, listen. I'll you get you on my roster. I'm getting one of your vendors. Yeah, I'll get you vendors. on my roster. Put me on your roster. Yeah, you're in the I'll file. You, I'll give you 10% commission. You're in, oh, I like oh, that. Cheap. Actually, I don't I don't I don't take kickbacks. <laughs> okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> For those who didn't all right, whatever. We're not she yeah, winked, yeah. winked him. Wink, wink. Wink. Yeah, that was good. That was really good. Ladies, I'm joking. Ladies, yeah, so ladies. if anyone I don't honestly, actually I don't know, actually. know if anybody wants to get married, but I might I know him. I know COVID is allowing small receptions. You don't have to go to church. You can, uh, you know, I will open this door right here, I'll stand out to the door and I will marry you. Hit me up. Hmm. Bada bing, bada bing. Honestly, I really want to marry someone. We have now. a lot of our friends getting married in the next five years. I think 2021 is no, your year I, for listen, this. I think and I'm my own biggest fan, but I'm also a realist, and I know that most of our friends would not want me to officiate the wedding. I would let you officiate my wedding. I I'll might let you. You heard it here. Mine. If I you don't get married, here first. I might let you officiate mine. Yeah. No, you guys are lying. Stop pumping my tires now. If I don't get married in a church, I don't want to marry someone. If I don't get married in a church, Georgie, I swear I'm going to do mine. Sorry, we already booked our church. So. <laughs> <laughs> we already booked it. I'm Nicole's sorry. Nicole's like, I have the perfect out. Thank God. <laughs> Nicole. But no, I just booked. Still Father, still Father Dave. But <laughs> ladies. Listen, we'll, we'll, Hit me get, up. we'll get your, you know, your headshots done. We'll get your website Kitty going. George already got like I got a lot of, I, We'll get I'm, it. I'm not a priest, though. I'm just like, your chill, nice suit, you know? Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. Yeah. I'm the a, brides I'm, might like that. <laughs> <laughs> 
Men. Bro, you it's are funny, thing. eh? It's a thing. You, oh, you guys, guys, she you had, know what? You should have seen her at the cottage. Oh, my God. We had a blast. Big vibes. You were the funny girl. No, you, we just. Ugh. a lot of laughs you know what I, I can't you know what this is weird sitting on this side I like it because usually I sit there and I can see the laptop and I've actually like had a lot of fun I feel way more engaged it's been a great episode yeah, this, we should switch this up the nice. seats every now and then oh, I feel like in so general we should put the guests oh, we're not gonna be here much longer but guys this is literally our Fine. second Sorry. last episode in the studio I like being on the couch uh, nice. as soon as I was I came in here I was like I wanna sit on that couch <laughs> the cognac just, couch everybody yeah. knows the cognac and you guys were talking about it in another episode like it's so comfortable I slept on it the other night do you understand so, like, like, I'm like no, I wanna sit like, on that couch you like I actually some days I like don't worry like disinfect everything for any guests coming over like clean it all up but some days I'll be like and it's not a far walk to get to my bed I, someone just pass on the couch it's a nice couch it's actually very comfortable shout out to Beautiful. Athena Athena Athena. This couch, the best thing I ever bought. Um, anyways, because on that note, this has been, uh, as we like to say, a nice vibe. catch up session. Yeah, and a vibe. Yeah, yeah. I really feel like we could have kept yeah. going for sure. But I love that George vibe. is wrapping this up now because usually I wrap it up. So, well, I don't know. I can't see the time. It's hard. Like I don't no, know. I love it. I love it. It's nice that we. we I just know. You know, I get the feels now. I think I'm a pro podcaster now. I got. I not we, we are a pro podcasters. So in all seriousness, <laughs> I really think you two should get married. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, to each. Like, like individually or no like together oh no <laughs> rude no 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 I think rude. you'd be a good partnership I'm, I, I don't swim well, that way but if I did you would be a good candidate for sure just I'm like just life partners or like business partners or best friends are at this point I see yeah. guys we're like oh, I honest. hang out with George more than I've ever hung out with any of my past partners <laughs> yeah that's not yeah okay but in fairness I mean I'm not gonna <laughs> in fairness uh, in fairness in you are one for the, you're always for the boys so yeah not, and I'm not gonna say any stories but you have made it very clear on several occasions <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anyways, for, the go there. For, the for the boys but um to our business partners Sorry, best friends, pal. Georgie, wrap sorry, it up. Sorry, bro. best pal. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey I'm trying to be nice here No you no I'm saying do, do the little spiel that so, I So again as Ricky <laughs> likes to say um, anyways ladies this has been fantastic thank you it's been a great catch up love you guys you guys are terrific speakers look yeah, beautiful both you of look you. great give, give us stand up give us give thanks. the audience no a, I'm not standing sh- come on <laughs> Bro, Bro's got the nice heels we're Kick not saying we're just, oh. we have our indoor yeah. shoes on yeah. we're just oh, yeah, chilling yeah. I straightened came with my indoor hair shoes. for you guys we came with indoor Big shoes because George doesn't like shoes inside you know? the condo but George loves yeah, guests yeah but we gotta it completes the outfit so I told you you're a guest if yeah. you showed up as a friend here, just like hang out for drinks and dinner, shoes off. You're a guest today. You can do whatever you want. Mm. Oh, <laughs> He's gonna tell us to take it you off guys are big deals. You're the guest. You're a guest. I just thought of a really podcast. good idea too. <laughs> you just had it. I just thought, but I'll tell you after. Okay, I like <laughs> it. So guys, we're getting their juices flowing in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guys, yeah. And I'll tell you honestly, like you guys brought great energy because Ricky can tell you I was like in the worst mood today, but I'm in a great mood now. Aw, good. Yay. Party. Sorry, I was late. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what's crazy too? I would have been even more mad, but you came in good. Energy. I love you. Yeah. yeah. You guys are you guys are terrific. So, anyways, uh, it's been fantastic. We got a couple questions, but before I do that, if people want to find out more about you guys mm. and they want to know where they can see your portfolios or book you or reach out for advice, ask you about wedding planning. Now's your chance. We usually okay. do this after Go the question. Do we? Yeah. My uh, my wife. Oh, I changed it up. <laughs> changed it up. My because you're in that chair. My uh, website is just www.nicolegrittani.com. That's N-I-C-O-L-E-G-R-I-T-T-A-N-I.com. I love that you spelled it out. Yeah. Because some people, you have to... Because you're not... I'm, I'm no, on... Great job. Great yeah. job. On radio. So, uh, and then if you want to follow me on Instagram, um, uh, it's Nico Grittani Artistry. So N-I-C-K-O-G-R-I-T-T-A-N-I Artistry. There you go, girl. Yeah. Well, we'll take Do I have to spell? Social media? No? Email me, DM me. You know the drill. <laughs> <laughs> Roro, hit us up. You can see my planning and beauty portfolio at All These All Things Pretty Inc. Um, and there's also that's specifically for planning mostly, and then All Things Pretty Beauty on Instagram. Um, my email is info at allthingspretty.ca. Hit me up, guys. You know what's good with it before? Because people don't listen to the questions. We got to get them plugged before. I just realized that. Serious inquiries only. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm email her. Hey, big fan. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously, though. And uh, if you want to get married, DM. I'll hit you. I'll get you. to George. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I should get, I should get Minister George. No, I'd be weird. Anyway. <laughs> so, yeah. so now is a part where, Rick, you want to tee this one up? I'll pass it off to I'll, you. Buddy. I'll tell you. George, you did a great job there. You Thank you, man. Job. You did a good job. And you thank them for coming out. This important. chair's got a vibe to it. I feel it way, way better in this chair. I I'm going to sit it. here from now on. A lot of energy. We got yeah. one episode left, so you can oh. 
in the studio. You got Coming you take it away. But uh, ladies, again, like George said, thank you so much for coming on the podcast. The final two questions, which mm. I hope you're both ready for, because we asked you at the beginning and you said you were ready for them. Yes, I'm a loyal listener, so, so I know <laughs> the questions. So the first question, if there was a movie about your life, who would you want to star as you? It could be any person from any given time. Okay, I'll go first. So I love their preparedness. Um, I spent a lot of time thinking about this and I was like, you know what? It could go both ways. It could be like someone who I look like or it could be someone who I aspire to be like as like personality wise. So looks wise, Taylor Schilling from Orange is the New Black, the actress from Orange is the New Black. I don't, I don't know her, but I've never seen it. Oh my gosh, you guys gotta watch it. She, we look like I'm cold just for you. I and then, if I wanted someone to play me, I, I would want Reese Witherspoon because oh, she has good such one. good energy. Yeah, even she's funny. off no camera, way. you kind of remind me of her. I love her. You remind me of her. Your good personality. I love her. Yeah, yeah. yeah. just bubbly Actually. and happy. Yeah. yeah, like that's good time. The good way vibes. The vibes. The vibes good don't vibes. lie. Roll. Do not. J Lo. I think, I guess. I don't know. Okay. Honestly, <laughs> yeah, J-Lo. Honestly, yeah, my favorite movie isn't actually The Wedding, the wedding Planner. <laughs> it's not that. It's yeah. The Jeez. Father of the Bride. So maybe Martin oh. Short. So like, Frank? Frank. <laughs> I love Frank. Frank we is only have honestly four months, best. but it's okay. That's okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's it. Ladies, I love it. I love it. Oh my God. I don't okay. think they've seen that movie. Have no, you I seen it? But no, I, I, I just love you. You guys have to watch it I think on Netflix. Netflix. The, 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 the Father, Father of the Bride. Bride. It's the funniest Martin movie Short ever. And, uh, it's the funniest movie ever. That's a bold right. statement. <laughs> Hey, if it's well, the funniest movie I'll ever to you, it. you know what? You is it on Netflix? It. I'll watch the. I think they're coming There's out. There's a new with version it. that came out yeah, too. Oh yeah, that that's what yeah. I yeah. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. I love that movie. Yeah. Okay, Georgie. Yeah. We got the last one before we wrap up. If you guys, each of you, could give one piece of advice to your younger self, what would it be? You go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I had a, I was thinking about this, and I was like, okay, I spent my life always going, always going for things and a- achieving the goals. That, like as best as I could to the best of my ability. But um, that's, that being said, what I would tell my younger self is just to be confident, have fun. Um, I tell this a lot to like students who I, I teach. Sometimes I'm like, you know what? Just follow your gut and have fun with it mm-hmm. because you know, things might not happen right away immediately, but give yourself some time and don't rush. That That's my that's thing. Advice. Mm-hmm. And I can say too, I've known you for a long time and I remember when you were starting out, like I remember you talking about like it was tough, you're trying to break in, you didn't know what you were going to do. I was so I'll, stressed. Yeah, yeah, always. I remember that. Yeah, because I was always like, it's got to happen now. But you were, you took it very seriously and did like, I mean, I can't, just because I know whenever you're talking like my sister and me and like, yeah, you, you, you stayed the course and obviously it's clearly panned out, so good for yeah. you. Thanks. No problem. Thank you. Mm, be selective with um, the opportunities that come along. Um, I guess the in in other words, like be selective with the people you let in your circle, um, and take it easy on yourself. Honestly, take it e- easy on yourself, and time is so valuable. Um, just make sure you're spending it wisely. I like that. Love yeah. that. It's I true. guess yeah. it is. Be selective is true. That's a good one. It's very tough to like it's say no. So I don't regret true. anything. So this is a hard question for me to to say, you know, I would tell myself this, this, and this. Yeah. I, I don't regret anything. Right. I've learned so much from the experiences in my life. It has brought me to where I am today and I'm so grateful and thankful for it. But um, yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah. No, no, yeah, I like you that. that makes mm-hmm. sense. Yeah. Because especially when you're younger too, you want to jump on every single opportunity. I think one of our previous yeah. guests also answered like, something similar. The hardest I was, thing is I was saying, so like, into making yeah. money. I was like, yep, opportunity yeah, yeah, came, I'm sure. Yep, I was a oh, yes yeah. person. And now I'm like, no, let me think about exactly. this. I used to Does say yes to every job, yeah. including if I was pay, getting paid zero dollars. I was like, yeah. yes, 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 yes. I and mean, now, you do have to do your due diligence you do. in any industry. You have to pay your dues. Like you have to start somewhere, but... I Honestly? think the biggest thing, you know, just to kind of like 
on that point, I think that you guys and and also like there's that thing right. You should say as you get older, you say no to more things and be more selective. Yeah. I think that comes with time as figuring out what you want to do, but also being able to like narrow your focus, stay in your lane, and really hone your craft. Mm-hmm. You guys both have clearly yeah. done that. You guys have built brands, which is your brand is you, yeah. and like being able to do that and saying all those yeses makes you kind of figure out who you are. And then at that point, you're like, oh, now I know my worth or I know my time and all exactly. that. And you can exactly. choose. That. Not everyone can do that because everyone tries to do everything but doesn't focus right it's, yeah. it's narrowing your focus and really honing and staying true to yourself in your path exactly and then using your time wisely yeah. that's the key that's it I love it, guys. I'm loving this chair, man. This episode was a vibe. This yeah. episode was hands down a vibe. This shirt's a really we, good We insights. go way back, all yeah. of us here. Yeah, I love you both. You, you're both yeah. phenomenal women. Thank uh, you. Making Thank moves you. In, in your yeah. in respected industries. Everyone that's ever met both of you has always said good things about you. So Thank from you. me and Georgie, we love you. Yeah. Thank you for coming on. and, uh, and love yeah. Sending all the positive vibes to all the makeup artists in school right now. Yes. I know it sucks, but At keep CMU. going. Because I know you're wearing masks and learning with masks is like really yeah. hard, especially when you oh, be wow, hands I didn't on. Think about that. How do you? You know do what? It's really true. if I can right say now. something mm-hmm. to the people in our industry that, sorry, not the people in our industry currently, but the people who want to get into this industry. You know, the young people. Like, don't let anybody discourage you. Yes. Don't let anybody discourage you. There are going to be people out there that are going to, you know, want to throw you off your path and just keep going. Yeah. That's it. Exactly. That's a very good one to end it on. Yes. If you made it this far, hit the subscribe button. Follow these lovely ladies on Instagram. Subscribe. Subscribe. You know the drill. We love the pals. Woo! And other than that, signing off, guys. Cheers. Thank you. Bye. Peace. Hit space bar.